Good evening, YouTubers. It's New Time Travel Jaime88. I'm back with another video. And tonight, I am going to show off my Tom Hanks movie collection. Look how much all my Tom Hanks movies has been grown since my last year's video. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the description below. All right. Now, so far, I have a total of 24 Tom Hanks movies added in my collection. I know it's not uh, enough, but if I will plan to get some more. Even though Tom Hanks' birthday is celebrated back on July 9th, and I thought I will go on to show off on his belated birthday. And this will take a couple parts to do this. Okay, before we do that, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Julie. Let's talk about movies. Julie Cassidy. Julie, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. I'll put the link in, I mean, her channel on YouTube. Sorry about that. i put the link in the description below. All right, let's begin. Okay, start off. Here's the 1985 VHS of Splash. And this is the first film from 1984 to have the Touchstone Pictures logo. Back then, it's Touchstone Films, starring Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. Also starring Eugene Levy and John Candy, directed by Ron Howard, and the film is from 1984. And this comes in a black clamshell. I do have the 1984 copy of Splash that comes in a white padded clamshell. I know they, Disney Plus had, they came out with the edited version of Splash that removes the um, some scenes in there. But if you want to check out the uncut, stick with the VHS and the DVD of this. Brady PG in his 109 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label with the tan lid. And the print date, you can barely see it, but I can make it out, is September 20th, 1985. And it comes with this little ads right here, which I'm not going to show. And I did check the closing, and yes, this copy does have the Walt Disney and You promo at the end, because... This is a 1985 VHS, so just want to give you proof. And this has the regular 1984 Red FBI warning screen. On the 1984 VHS of Splash, it has the prototype 1984 Red FBI warning screen. And at the end, it has a trailer for Never Cry Wolf. Okay, here's the 1995 VHS of The Man with One... Red Shoe with Tom Hanks, part of Fox, 20th Century Fox selection. Also starring Daphne Coleman, Laurie Singer, Charles Deering, Jim Belushi, Carrie Fisher, and Ed Herman. Directed by Stan Dragati, and the film is from 1985. And I apologize because I have a bad cold. Fast-paced Marvelous. Now, the one with the red shoe was actually a remake of the popular French farce film, The Tall Blonde Man with One Black Shoe. Rated PG in its 92 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Tape number is 61. The eighth week of 1995. A camera can focus. There we go. Here is the 1991 VHS of The Money Pit. It's a hilarious movie with Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. Also starring the late Alexander Gutnov, Maureen Stapleton. Directed by Richard Benjamin. And the film is from 1986. For everyone who has either, I mean, ever been deeply in love or deeply in debt. Now, one of my favorites when um, when a turkey flies into the another room and then the 
the bathtub. When they pour the bathtub, the tap, the bathtub breaks and destroys. And Tom and Walter, <laughs> yeah, Walter, he was laughing. He went, ah, ah, he went, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I like that film. I've seen this 50 times. As the cameo appearances by Jake Steinfeld and a few others, Brady PG and his one hour and 31 minutes. And also has appearances by Julia Child. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. The 46th week of 1991, right there, if you can barely, if you want to focus. Uh, yep, it is. 46th week of 1991. 91. Camera can focus. Yep, there he is. And, um, despite says MCA Universal Home Video on the box, I did check the tape and it still actually uses the MCA Home Video logo at the beginning. Okay. Up next, the 1988 VHS of Dragnet. With Tom Hanks and Dan Aykroyd. Also starring Christopher Plummer, Harry Morgan, Alexandra Paul, and Dabney Coleman. Directed by Tom Mankiewicz and the film is from 1987. Just the facts. Rated PG-13 and is 1 hour and 46 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Here's the end label. Printings underneath there. The 20th week of 1989. Or 1988, which one it is. Here's the 1989 VHS of Big with Tom Hanks. Also starring Elizabeth Perkins, Robert Loja, and John Hurd. Directed by Penny Marshall and the film is from 1988. Rest in peace to John Hurd, who is in this film. Tom Hanks is funny in a big way. Ready PG in its 104 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Print it in the 107 day of 1989. Now here's another 1989 VHS of Punchline with Sally Field and Tom Hanks and it's directed by David Seltzer and the film is from 1988. Bold, sneaky, and brilliant. I can't remember laughing this much with tears still streaming down my face or beginning to weep while my side aches from laughing. Says Sheila Benson of the Los Angeles Times. Four, four and a half stars, or three and a half stars. A wonderful, bittersweet comedy, fresh and inventive and surprisingly touching. You should see this movie, says Rex Reed and Dixie Whiteley of Actor Movies. Ready art, and it's 123 minutes. Here's the sticker label for Punchline. Here's the end label. The ninth week of 1989. Blank barcode. Here's the 1989 I mean 1991 VHS of the Burbs with Tom Hanks. Also starring Bruce Dern, Carrie Fisher, and Rick Ducalmoon and Corey Feldman, directed by Joe Dante, and the film is from 1989. It's co-produced by Imagine Entertainment. Rest in peace to both Carrie Fisher and Rick Ducom, who was in this film. If I say the, the man's last name incorrectly, let me know. Ready PG, and it's one hour and 41 minutes. Here's the sticker label, and it's got the 1997 Universal logo plastered. The 41st week of 2000. 
And this actually uses the MCA home video logo at the beginning because it has a common attraction of the money pit at the end. And I love the variation of the Universal Pictures logo. That's done by Industrial Lights and Magic. Here's an, also a 1989 movie, Turner Hooch. This is a 1990 VHS with Tom Hanks. Also starring, and I believe May Whitman is, I mean, no, May Mer, Mer, Mer Winningham. Yes, May Winningham is in this film. Sorry about that, getting screwed up. Anyway, directed by Roger Spotswood, and the film is from 1989. The oddest couple even unleashed. Tom Hanks is downright funny. I know they came out with a remake with Josh Peck is on Disney Plus. Rated PG, and it's 99 minutes. You will sit up and beg for more. It says, Good Morning America. Here's the ink label. The print date is a later one. June 6, 1999. You can barely see the print date. No, June 8th, 1999. But it still uses the 1991 Tape Masters because it has the um, low price commercial at the beginning. Here's the 1990 VHS of Joe versus the Volcano with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Also has Lloyd Bridges, Robert Stack, A. Van Gogh, Dan Hayadea, Barry McGovern, and Ozzie Davis, directed by John Patrick Shanley, and the film is from 1990. It's part of the comedies category. A Lots of Laugh Inspired Lunacy, says Jack Garnett of Gannett News Service. Rated PG in its 102 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. There is a print date underneath the end label. I'm not going to bother to peel it off. And I'm going to show you one more Tom Hanks movie before we go to part two, which is the 1991 VHS of the Bonafide Bonfire of the Vantities. There we go. With Tom Hanks, Bruce Willis, and Melanie Griffith. Also starring Morgan Freeman. Directed by Brian De Palma. And the film is also from 1990. Take one... Wall Street tycoon, his Fifth Avenue mistress, a reporter hungry for fame, and the wrong turn in the Bronx. And this is also a comedy category. Rated R in its 126 minutes. Here's the sticker label. The print dates is a two print dates. One from January 5th, 1992, and January 7th, 1992. All right, that's it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.